Welcome to my channel, exploring old technologies and seeing new ideas. Let's begin. I acquired my first 3D printer in 2019, an Ender 5, and enjoyed tweaking and making many things successfully as I upgraded it over the years towards my Ender 5 Plus capabilities. Recently, I added a K1 Max to my 3D printing resources, hoping that a more plug-and-play experience without constant tweaking would result. Sadly, this proved only possible for my first few 3D prints. Having successfully created lithophanes in the past using Kira on my Ender 5, I was hoping Corality Print was up for the task, but this proved beyond the capabilities of Corality Print's default settings. On my first lithophane attempt, the backside was filled with stringy artifacts. Unsuccessfully, I tried a few simple settings before heading down that familiar rabbit hole to discover the tweaking discoveries of others on the internet. Many suggested to move to the Orca Slicer as an easy solution, but I didn't want to abandon the K1 Max's stock Corallery print slicer just yet. I believe that the K1 Max was tuned for their high-speed PLA filament, so I hoped to find a way to reset it for my standard white PLA filament. In the past, I used Kira's temperature tower test to profile my filaments, but initially I could not find any videos demonstrating how to use that on a K1 Max. Then Gary of 3D for Everyone pointed out that the K1 Max has a similar tool built in under the Calibration Temperature tab. Completing this test made it obvious that the K1 Max default 230 degree temperature had to change and that my default PLA would perform best at 195. What a difference that adjustment made to my lithophanes. The stringing was gone. I had to concede again that 3D printers are still not plug-and-play tools. For those interested in trying lithophanes, I've included a guidance reference for those that I used. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be looking forward to preparing another one for you soon.